How to build a kitchen cabinet. Putting a kitchen cabinet together is now easier than ever because most come ready for you to assemble. You'll find a full list of tools and materials you'll need at the end of this video. We'll be assembling a standard kitchen base unit, but the same procedure applies for wall units too. Always check the manufacturer's instructions for any specific directions. First, lay out all the parts on the floor so you can check that you have everything and can get a sense of how it all fits together. It's a good idea to keep all the screws and other fixings in the plastic bags until you need them or put them in a small bowl so when they are opened they don't spill everywhere. First, take one of the side panels and place it with the holes facing up. Then screw the four cam studs into the holes in the corners of the panel as specified by the instructions. These will connect the side panel to the base panel and top struts using locking cams that will then grip them securely. Now, for extra strength, place the dowels into the side panel. Now place the locking cams into the large holes in the top struts that will form the top of the cabinet. Similarly, place locking cams into the holes in the bottom panel as directed by the instructions. Make sure the arrows on the locking cams point towards the end of the panel. This means they are unlocked and can receive the cam studs. Now gently place the struts into the side panel, sliding them down onto the dowels and cam studs. Take care at this point to keep it all at a right angle so you don't accidentally snap the dowels. Now secure all the cam locks using a screwdriver. Firmly turn them clockwise until they are locked. Be careful not to over tighten. Then place the bottom panel in. Make sure the grooves in the base and side panel line up too. Then carefully slot the second side panel onto the base panel and top struts. And secure the cam locks. The back panel will simply slot in along the groove created by the base panel and two side panels. Secure the back panel to the top back strut using the three screws provided. Then, place the four leg sleeves into the bottom of the base panel. Make sure that one of the small overhangs on each sleeve is supporting the side panel. Then, gently tap in the lugs. Then, secure with screws. Now place the four legs into the sleeves. Then, turn the cabinet onto the legs being careful as you rotate it not to put pressure on any of the legs at an angle. To make the cabinet level and the right height, you can adjust each individual leg. Twisting the base of the legs will extend or reduce them increasing or decreasing the height up to a maximum of 140 millimeters. Your first kitchen cabinet is now assembled and ready for you to place within your kitchen. Other cabinets are assembled in a similar way, but always check the instructions first. To fit the cabinets into your kitchen, please see our other films in the series, how to install base cabinets and how to fit doors and drawers. 
Here is a list of tools you'll need to build your kitchen cabinet. And here's the materials you will use.